So how do you feel in your lovely pink helmet then? Oh, really good. <laughs> I love pink so much. It's my favourite colour. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> bit of warming up at the very start of the day we've not got the the navigator here as yet she's just been doing a few wee laps of the circuit there um just to to take the the wee icy surface off the top as you can see it's it's a very wintry morning here at games beautiful but slippy so mark's just jumped in the car with her there and he's just going to take her around some of the wee outer and inner bits of the circuit that she's not been on yet. She's only been on the main circuit when she came here and did the C1 day with um, Racing Awareness Scotland guys, Rab Jobson and Alex Milne and that. So he's just going to take her around some of the wee bits that she's not been on yet just to start breaking up the, the, the surface frost on those as well. See, they're just going really slowly. Just getting getting wheels on tarmac. Just to break up the surface a wee bit and Mark's obviously having a bit of a chat with her as well. Shortener rally car then? Yeah, it was good. Um, completely different to driving on a track and the Saxo, I can tell you that. But yeah, it's really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, was that a big difference to the Saxo? Was it? Just the little things, but yeah, it was different. It's got more power once you actually get to a speed, it's definitely got more power. But um, the gears are different as well. Not second, not first, not second, but going into third. It's like a lot further away than you'd expect. So I'm trying to go closer and it's further away. So some of the time I was missing third gear just because I'm used to doing it closer in the sack. So the brakes are a lot better. I can yeah. confirm that a lot, like massively better. Um, surprise, um, but yeah, because I'd be breaking it. There's a hairpin down there and I'd be breaking and I'd be locking up because I'm breaking too much. But that's how I was the last time I was here in the C1. I was breaking about that much. So I was just doing the same. 
but it's completely different. <laughs> yeah, the brakes will be a lot better than the C1. Yeah, they are. And the Saxo, quite a bit better than that as well. Alright, so, interesting. Yeah, it's, it's quite a bit different. Also, Fun though? Yeah, I couldn't find how to get out the car either. Because <laughs> there's no handle and I'd been looking for a handle somewhere, like a lever. And there wasn't anything I could find, so I was just sitting in the car like, how did I get out? <laughs> Once I got in, I couldn't see my way out. But yeah, it's really good, it's really fun. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Right, just waiting on the co-driver now. Yes. Looking forward to that. Yes, I'm nervous, obviously. <laughs> it's my first time, actually. Like, How are the off-track bits? Know. You've not been in the off-track bits before. It makes you so, quite self-conscious, I have to say. You're driving in it, and it's like really tight, and you're like, I hope I don't hit like a tire. <laughs> like, you're driving a lot. Like, please don't hit a tire, please don't hit a tire. <laughs> um, and I wasn't even going at particularly high speeds either. So we'll just have to see. I hope I don't hit anything. I hope I don't go into a pressure crash. That's I'm like, sure you won't. I hope so, but <laughs> if I do, it's okay. It's my first time. When you were going around the track yourself there, you look good. Yeah. So, yeah. Excited, nervous, everything. <laughs> So how do you feel in your lovely pink helmet then? Oh, really good. <laughs> I love pink so much. It's my favourite colour. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Doing really well. Um, it's, it's quite difficult the first time you hear a set of notes to to figure out what's going on, you know. But to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to take in. So the, the first one, I think I've been talking Chinese, you know. But the second run there, we got a good few laps in, and you start to listen more and pick up what gear to be in for the corners. Cool. But yeah, doing really well so far. Yeah, so she's she listening then, right? Yes. Uh, I'm trying to strap it up 
a few times I'm taking her different routes, you know, just to yeah. make sure she's listening to what I'm telling her. And yeah, she's catching her. Good, yeah. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. Ah, that's, that's nice to hear she listens to someone. <laughs> 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 so, how was your first time listening yeah. to a co-driver then? Yeah, it was good, uh -huh. Um I mean, the first time it was a bit confusing. I, In like, what way? I don't know, I was just like, where am I going kind of thing, what am I doing? And then once he came back and he gave me a wee chat and then we went back out and I kind of started to understand that a wee bit more. I mean, I was still asking like, am I going here or is it here? But I was starting to get an understanding of it more kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it was good. Enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Except I can say that it's um, because it's got power steering and you're listening to your co-driver, you cannot feel the car. Like, I was sliding at some points, and you don't feel it till you're halfway in the slide, and you're like, this isn't the right direction, I need to go the other way. <laughs> yeah, so you don't actually feel the slide at all, you don't feel when you're sliding, you That's don't feel the car. Well, you've got to get used to the old multitasking, listening yeah. and driving at the same time, yeah. No, I mean, you can't feel the car even... Well, you, you can, you're just not used to it, that's all. Yeah, with the power steering, so it's weird. <laughs> I need to get used to that. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Then now. They go the other way. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that is the end of the day, unfortunately, because I was out in the car and there's a very narrow bit with tyres on both sides, so there's no, if you make a mistake, that's it, you're done for. And I made a mistake and I was done for, which is what I'm trying to say. And there was ice, which didn't help at all, because um, when I was braking, the brakes just locked up and I completely slid. And then there was no way to fix it because you're straight into the tires. Either way you go, either way you slip, you're into the tires. You can't avoid it. Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, stay tuned for whatever comes next, whatever videos next. Thank you. Thank you.